Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. In this video, I wanted to talk about all of my SLGs. I have clearly some brand names and some that are uh, not even branded or non-luxury brands. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my thought process and experience in using some of my SLGs. Now, first off, I have come to the realization that I have just way too many at least for me, and I am willing to make the statement at this point in time that I will not be buying any more SLGs unless I have a need for it or, or something breaks um, and I need to replace it because I have more than enough to rotate my within my collection. So I'm gonna talk through a few things where um, I will talk about my most used, most useful, uh, all the way to my least used, and some of the SLGs that I'm planning to sell and uh, purge from my collection. So without further ado, let's get started. While I have all this eye candy here for you to look at while I do a little bit of a story time and talk through my thoughts. So we're gonna start from the, the bottom left all the way to the right and talk through that some a, a bit here. Okay, so my most used and my favorite SLGs in terms of functionality and number of times I use it um, would be number one, my Chanel uh, classic card holder in the caviar leather and in the gold hardware. I do rotate this quite often. I'm actually ca very careful and conscious of not using it too, too much because I don't want it to stretch out too much. And I'm conscious not to put too many cards in here. So typically I will put one card in the in the front, two in the back in each slot, and maybe one to two cards in the middle here because I, I don't want to ruin this piece. I really like it a lot because it fits in every single bag you can imagine, even the smallest ones, including my wallet on chain all the way in the back here. So I do rotate it, but I'm careful not to rotate it too much because I want to keep it in pristine condition. You can see here, this is my only a uh, card holder in this style. Some of the others have flaps, but I do like using this because it is easy access. So this is definitely most used, most loved, and definitely a keeper in my book. Next is the classic Louis Vuitton key clay in the monogram. And you notice here I have another one from the men's collection. I haven't used this yet. My husband doesn't want to use it and I will use it. I find this to be such a universal piece where you can put so many things in here. Obviously you can use it for your keys, but I typically use it to put my credit cards in here. Currently I am using this. I don't put a whole lot because again, I don't want to stretch it out too much, but I find that this is also very easy to use, fits in many bags, even the small ones. And with just a simple zip closure, you can access your cards very easily. And you can see it's quite comparable in size. The card holder is obviously a little taller, but the width is pretty similar. And it's very easy to just grab and go. Sometimes if I'm running a quick errand and I don't even want to bring a bag, I would just bring my cell phone and this key pouch, which holds what I need to pay for, you know, the item that I'm looking for or paying, paying for. Um, and I, I don't even need anything else. So this is definitely a keeper. I would say this is redundant in my collection, but I like this piece so much that I can find use out of it by rotating it. Another piece that I have two of, you see here, are my mini pochettes from Louis Vuitton. I have the Damier Ibin and the Damier Azur. I never had a chance to get the monogram version, but I'm not bothered of not having it because you can see here I have the pochette Essessois from Louis Vuitton in the monogram. I do rotate these two quite a bit and they are, you know, really the perfect catch-all. You can fit so much in each of these and it's compact enough to put in bags, but also substantial enough to fit all your daily essentials, which for me would be like a lip balm, a hand cream, sometimes some eye drops, even a pack of tissues, some headache medicine or allergy medicine. It can all fit in here and it's a perfect catch-all to put in your bags 
Obviously, if you're using a mini bag, you would have to forego this, but in most cases when I'm using a medium to a larger size bag, this would fit everything. So it is redundant because I have two of them, but I know these are so hard to get now and the price has gone up so, so much since I got this that I feel like I shouldn't let it go because of that. And honestly, if I were to sell it, I doubt I can sell it for the current selling price. And I feel like, you know, who would want to buy it used at the current selling price if you can potentially get it new in store? Okay, this is another piece, the pochette accessoire from Louis Vuitton. It's actually the older version because you see inside there's no pocket. I do keep... Um, this is from one of my Louis Vuitton bags as a strap that sometimes I like to use this leather strap with this or sometimes I use this coach um, chain strap as, um, a, as an alternative. I don't like to use the leather kind of shorter strap that it comes with because it's a little too short to put on the shoulders, especially if you have a coat on and I don't want to ruin that leather piece, so I usually just leave it off. And this piece is made in France. I know this price has gone up so much um, in the current retail market, and it's to me, it's a little bit too much to purchase for something like this. I did get this secondhand in Japan for, it was definitely under 400 US dollars, so I feel like it's such a steal compared to how much it costs now. So I do use this sort of like as a mini bag every now and then, and it can hold um, even the, the, push, the mini pochette, but of course it will take up a lot of space, but it is a right, really nice travel bag, um, something to use as a quick crossbody. Um, sometimes I even use this going to work because sometimes I would have a bigger tote or a backpack with me, and this is a nice uh, little bag to you know go out to lunch with or run a quick errand if I, I need to go outside of the office to do that. So this is definitely a keeper for me as well. Now come some of the questionable items. Um, I recently purchased this Hermes Bastia from Rebag, and I have used this like to, as like a mini catch-all. I haven't put coins or cash in it yet because I use this one, which I got from Urban Outfitters many years ago. It's very inexpensive, and you can see it's held up quite well. I don't even think it's leather. I actually can't tell, but I realized that I didn't really need this piece because it serves the same functionality as this, although this is more uh, of an envelope style and it's, it's wider and this is narrower, but I realized that the flap up here does the same purpose as the Bastia where you can slide the coins to the end here. And I wouldn't feel as bad using this piece because the coins um, and cash that if you use it for this purpose, gets the inside dirty and I don't want to ruin this piece so what I've been using this is a, a very very small catch-all where I put like a hair tie or a, a very small lip balm like very very small pieces bits and bobs but to be honest I don't think I even really needed this I was attracted to the color and just um, attracted to the to the to the concept of owning an Hermes Bastia, to be honest. So this is staying in my collection for now because I do really like the color and I think I can use this every now and then and rotate out of, but I would say this is also redundant in my collection and something I probably shouldn't have purchased even though I really like it. Okay, now this it came as a trio, it came as a set. Um, I got a really good deal on this. I got this on Rebag as well. And so when it came, it actually comes like this with the two pouches in the middle. Oh, here's the Rebag card that it came with. But it essentially has these two pieces inside of this envelope. Honestly, I don't think anyone would really use it this way. I, I think it's um, more useful to use it as three separate pieces, but let me know if you have this and you actually do use it with the two pouches inside. Um, I use this yellow one quite often because if you see my other videos, you know that I use uh, the clay or the card holder for my essentials, like my most used credit cards, 
my um, driver's license and insurance cards go in into these. This one are all my other extra cards like health insurance cards, bank cards, um, membership cards, I put it in here. And here I can easily count, there's probably 10 or more cards in here. And it fits very well because it's very tall, but you can see the profile is very slim. So it can go into all of my medium, sometimes smaller bags, depending which bag I use. And it's a good um, alternative just to carry all the other cards that I have that I need to carry. But if I'm going out for a quick errand, I, and I don't need these cards and I know I don't need it, I just pull this out of my bag and grab and go. Um, sometimes I do switch to this larger one in blue. You can see it is bigger in size um, and it's, a, it's another alternative. It can fit more clearly. And I, I, I did use it for a time, but I, I switched back to the smaller one only because it saved space. But this could be a good like travel SLG where you put passports and things like that but um, I do enjoy using it because I think the the slim profile is really nice and convenient I think it saves a lot of space and it can fit a lot if you're you know stacking things inside it doesn't get too too bulky so it's just a backup to this one to be honest I haven't used this envelope pouch yet I think the color is beautiful. You can see I kind of gravitate towards these magenta type colors. I think it's beautiful, but honestly, I haven't used it only because I don't really know what to put in here. So like, let's say if I had my card holder and I wanted to put that in there, it of course it will fit, but I feel like you put a card holder and you put like your phone, which if it does fit, it will already bulk up. And this little flap, it does close, but you're just really tucking it in. And I don't really know how secure it would be. So it's more of a evening going out to dinner piece where I'm really carrying very, very little um, next to nothing. And even then the things that go inside here have to be quite slim because of the closure. If I put more in it and make it, uh, thicker uh, I think this little flat will come out so I have never used this I mean it might be good for like going to a wedding as a clutch just to have the look but I don't think it's very useful even though it's very nice to look at so I don't have any regrets getting this trio because I make good use out of the yellow piece and sometimes the blue piece and it's just a nice to have uh, in terms of getting a little bit of the classic Hermes colors, which they do so well. Here's another piece where I really do like because um, it is a classic silhouette from Chanel, the zip coin or zip card holder. And you can see it's empty right now. I don't really use this too much anymore, although I do try to rotate this in my collection as well. The reason for not using it so much is because honestly, it doesn't really fit a lot. I can probably fit two cards on each side here and maybe one in the middle. And when I close it, it's just right. And honestly, for this uh, size and silhouette, you can tell it is bigger and thicker than a card holder. I would say it can fit pretty much the same amount as the card holder. And when I think about it like that, it's like, well, you know, do I want to carry something bulkier or slimmer? I rotate this just because I have it, but in hindsight, I could have just done with the classic card holder. And it is a little bit redundant because I have this very old Agnes B card holder. You can see it's the, pretty much the same silhouette, the same style. And when I open both, this I have full, somewhat full. Um, you can see this opens up like like so and this can open up way more like it opens up i would say you know almost uh, a third more and it can fit so many cards and it would not ne never have a problem to close i even throw some keys in there some random things you can see how big of a difference it is in terms of the opening so in terms of that um this card holder is a little bit redundant in my collection. 
I don't know if I should even try selling it because I don't think I can really get a whole lot back for it and I don't want to get rid of Chanel pieces so easily because of my past experience in selling some Chanel pieces, not necessarily at a loss, but afterwards I regretted it because the price of these has gone up so much and it would have just been nice to hold on to it just because of the value that it would have. Okay, now comes um, the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. I got this in London Heathrow Airport a couple of years back when I was traveling. This was pre-Brexit. I got a pretty good deal on this, but you can see I don't really use this anymore. It is a little bit bigger than the other wallets I have, and I can still use it. It is a very beautiful fuchsia color in the interior, and it holds quite a bit, like holds bills, some coins can go in here in the zipper pocket, and it has several credit card slots. Um, it's still in very good condition. I know a lot of people have issues with this button, so I'm always very careful to not damage it, but it is a very good, like, medium to compact size wallet that I think I should hold on to for the time being in case I need to use something like that in the future. But at this time, I haven't really used this in quite a while, um, but it's one of those things that I don't even know if I should sell because it's, it's hard to get it back for the price that I purchased it. So let me know if you have the Victorine wallet and if you still use it. Okay, so a couple of more pieces. This piece is actually um, the six ring key holder, which I am currently selling. I haven't even used this a lot. And the button, which I purposely got in the gold color because I knew these got gets uh, damaged quite a bit, um, did already kind of have some minor scratches here and there you can see in the reflection a little bit. And I haven't really used it a lot only because now when I go in and out of my house, I don't even need my keys. We go in through the garage and the door to my garage has a keypad that I just punch in a code and I get into the door. So I don't even have a need to put in my house keys um, and even my car keys because um, it comes with the fob. It would take up too much space on this. I might as well just carry the car key and the fob and not this. And um, the other car I have is a Tesla, so I don't even need a key for it. So I find this a little bit, um, not, not to say useless, but I, I don't have a need for this kind of SLG in my collection anymore. So I am trying to sell it and hopefully I can sell it at a decent price where I'm getting some of my money back. I know I don't I don't think I can get all of it back because it's not such a popular item anymore, but I know a lot of people get a, a lot of use out of it, which is why I purchased it to begin with. Okay, now these two in the back are actually SLGs that came with um, two of the bags that I have in my collection. So this came with my vintage Chanel camera bag and this came with my Louis Vuitton um, Celine, S-L-E-S-E-L-E-N-E -E 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 is the name of the bag, um, bag in the Mahina leather. And I do use this sometimes when I'm at work um, and I just want to have a quick thing to bring out to lunch and, you know, put some cash keys, um, my phone in. So it is a little, it's quite convenient just to have it and it, it came with the bag. So I don't want to just like sell this off as a, a piece on its own, although I know some people do that, but it's it's quite useful and I do like the color and the leather. This one actually is quite convenient. It's actually similar in silhouette to these where the profile is very slim and I can fit quite a bit of cards in here. Sometimes I would put cash in here before I had these pieces, but I haven't used this a lot because I do want to keep the leather in pristine condition. Although the vintage lambskin, I have to say, is fairly indestructible. Um, I, I think even if it scratches, you can easily buff it out. So this piece is similar to the way I would use these two pieces here from Hermes. Okay, and the last three all the way in the, the back corner are pieces I've had for quite a while. This is my oldest Louis Vuitton wallet in the epi leather, which you can see is in still really, really good condition. This was my very first Louis Vuitton wallet. 
and I'm keeping it only because it's more for sentimental um, reasons. I can still use it and I, if I have the need to carry a wallet of this size, I would because it can fit again cash on the side and I would put like quite a number of cards here and extra cards so it has um, quite a bit of room to put what I need but because of the size and the way you know we use our bags these days it, it can take up quite a bit of space in my bag but I think I will keep this because it was my first piece and I really do like the, the epi leather. The second to last piece is all the way over here. It's a card holder from Cartier. It's a piece, if you've seen my previous videos about this, it's a piece that I got for Mother's Day from my son. Um, he partially funded this with his uh, allowance and birthday money. And my husband kind of uh, completed the purchase for him because he didn't have enough money. So. I don't really use this at all. Um, sometimes I do just to show him that I use it, but for for obvious reasons, I want to keep this in pristine condition because it's a, such a meaningful piece to me um, because of who gave it to me and his generosity in, in gifting this to me. So it, it I would say it's really well made actually, and the leather is in really good condition. I'm not too scared of using it, but again, I know with the lighter colors, it can easily have maybe color transfer or scratches to it. And I do want to keep this in near perfect condition because I want to have this piece forever. The last piece is, you can say it's a bag. You can also say it's an SLG. I think under Chanel standards, it is an SLG. So this is a wallet on chain. It's a special piece to me because um, it was gifted to me by my husband and it has a turn lock, which you don't see often in wallet on chains. This was purchased a couple years back. And the other special thing about it is the chain itself. The chain has very nice details of um, like some charms on it that spell out Chanel across. I don't know if you can see it, but it spells out Chanel with um, pearl decorations in between. And when you're carrying it on your shoulder, it's a nice little accessory on your shoulder. The other um, great thing about this is the leather finish. I forget the exact type of leather. It's not patent leather, even though it looks like it um, when the light hits it, but it's very durable and it can, um, I think, withstand some uh water resistance uh I, I of course i wouldn't you know use this when it's pouring out but uh, it's it can be wiped off pretty easily i did get a base shaper for this from a company called m boutique which has helped make this a little more um, expandable and and user friendly so it expands the base all the way out and you can fit quite a bit in here so if I like had my card holder which I know you can you know take your cards out and put it in there but this is just more for demonstration purposes you can fit things comfortably I think I might be able to stand it up maybe not I can probably stand the card holder up and still close it actually no it has to fit horizontally but it can fit my phone if I really wanted to one card holder a lip balm you know, maybe a hand cream laying across. So it does fit quite a bit given some of the micro bags that are out these days. But this piece is very special to me because of um, who gave it to me, when I got it. And I, I liked that it had a turn lock as well and, and not a magnetic or snap closure. So that's kind of my complete uh, SLG collection, how I use these items, which ones I find to be most uh, user-friendly, um, you know, frequently rotated, and some that have not quite worked out for me so well. Um, if I can let some of them go, I will probably uh, do that one day. But for now, I've only decided to let go of the six uh, Louis Vuitton six key holder. And the rest, uh, I'm slowly deciding 
if I should let it go or should not. If you have any questions about any of these items, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on, on how to handle some of these items and how you rotate it, I would love to hear that as well. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.